going on youtube what's going on world what's going on everybody check check mic microphone check so your boy done fancied up a little bit and got me a lavalier a lot of people don't know i have a background in audio technology I have a social degree in audio technology and also in film i have a film company called major vision production so if you're ever on youtube or something or any social media area Check me out, man. Um, if you need or want any type of um, film or photography or anything, drone work, live streaming, all that stuff, man, holler at your boy. You know, we'll get it done. Major Vision Productions. I'm just checking out the, checking out the new mic. But anyway, uh, this video is about me showing you guys what I learned from 10 toe, 10 toes down, 10 toes down, hauling or towing. Ten Toes Down Towing, man. Shout out to my boy at Ten Toes. So anyway, man, it's a guy, guy I be watching on YouTube, man. He's very, very, uh, you know, familiar with a lot of the stuff that's, that, we, that we're doing and trying to do. And so uh, I learned a little fancy trick uh, with these ramps to use your ramps. And anyway, let me, let me back up. This video is about showing you how to get an in-op off your vehicle with your monster ramps. and um, basically on a level or even on an incline. So whether I'm on an incline or on a level, I can now unload my in-ops with just using these ramps. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do and how, how, how it's done. But, man, when I saw him do this, I was like, man, that's a game changer. Because at first I was, you know, of course, pushing the car off. Then I'd have to do stuff like, um, you know, winch it off with a snatch block pulley. Or I would have to, uh, you know, Get, put a strap on the axle, the back axle, and, and crank it and pull it back. All these different things work, but I found out this was just a quick, cool tip, you know, a cool way to get it. So what you do is get your ramps real fast, park them underneath your back tire, not your trailer tire, but your actual truck's tires. So I already got one over on that side. I'm going to put the other one over here. And then you just roll up on them like you're getting the oil change. And this, what it's going to do is it's going to – um. It's gonna give you a little, a, a little um, vault, a little slant, an invert. So now, when I back up on these, when I back up on them, it's gonna allow my trailer to invert a little bit, to where now it should just roll off. I still got the winch line hooked up on it, so that way I can control it as it goes down. Because I, you know, I don't want it to fly down too fast and maybe hit that fence. So, uh, you know, what's going on? What's going on? Checking your boy out. But anyway, it's a lot of one car haulers I've been noticing lately, man. It's a lot of guys getting into this business. But anyway, we we up here at Odessa in Fairburn, the one in Fairburn, Georgia. And uh, I'm delivering this car from a client yesterday. A lot of you guys, well, some of you guys have probably watched yesterday. I picked this in op up in the country and uh, just, you know, struggled to get it on, got it, got it here, went home, slept on it. And now here it is uh, like about 1030. A little after 10:30, and I'm here to deliver it. So, um, just figure since I'm a, using these little ramps to uh, get my end up off, I might as well show y'all how to do it and how it's done. Might save y'all some time. Like I said, I learned this a little trick from uh, 10 Toes Down Towing. Y'all check him out on YouTube, man. Like I said, you can learn a whole lot from this brother. Uh, he's been doing it a little bit longer than me, and uh, I think he has a one tar, a one car hauler, but he has other trailers too. But anyway, so like I said, you want to put your ramps under there. Just back up on the ramps. It's going to it's gonna give me a little invert. And that way I can just drag it off. It's already in neutral. Uh, it's an end op, like I said. Don't run. So let's go ahead and get busy and do it. I'll set the camera here and let y'all check me out while I just knock this out real, real quick. And you see how I see the process. Kind of give it a little angle. That way you can see the truck a little bit, how it tilts. How it's gonna bag up. That looks good about right there. Kill some of that ground. All right, what's going on, man? Shout out to my viewers. Who we got viewing real quick? If we got anybody viewing. What's going on, man? Still room, still what's that? Still room one? Yeah, what's going on, man? Networking at its best. Yeah, thanks, bro. Already trying to trying to get it together man and uh i got a i got some videos coming out man an actual course i'm working on 
It's going to be like a master course to teach you everything from A to Z about the business, everything from um, getting all your paperwork together, you know, your legalities of it first. From there, then we're going to, in the course, we'll talk about booking loads and getting hooked up with all these brokers so you can get the loads, handling, managing paperwork, uh, picking up the load, dropping off the load, securement, um, social media, stuff like that. We're just pretty much going over everything from A to Z in a nutshell, all video, so that way you can, it's an easy how-to. By the time you're done with this course, you should know everything from A to Z about trucking as far as like just the basics, you know, the basics, all the things you require to have and do. So anyway, here we go. I got a little bit of the trucking frame. I'll show y'all how it's done. Matter of fact, let me back up just a little bit. Bag up a little bit. I might put this thing over here on this little what's the name? Give it a little height. I think this looks better. Yeah, it might be better. It's kind of far away, but uh, let's see how this go. I've only done this twice. The first time I did it, it worked so well. I was like, yeah, this is it. I'm gonna start doing this every time. But anyway, for you guys tuning in, I like I said, I'm just showing them how to basically. Get your load off your trailer without having to use a snatch block, a strap, anything extra, have, having to pull it, push it, none of that. You just uh, use your little monster ramps that you do your oil change with. You back up to your ramp, and it's going to make your, your deck tilt where it'll roll off. So hold on one second. Let's get it, let's get it bagged up on. Let's get the truck, let's say, bagged up on the actual ramps. Get my jump box over here so she don't roll off the trailer. I say I already have the truck. I already have this uh my N op. It's already in. It's in neutral, but I have the winch line hooked up to it, so it won't go anywhere. Matter of fact, let me move this out the way. So the tilt is gonna wanna drag the car a little bit. So I say 10 toes down towing, like I say, gave me this little game. I wouldn't say just gave it to me, but you know, this is something he had posted in one of his videos. But he did it more on an invert. That's what was crazy. He did it on an invert, man. That was wild. So we're just going to bag it up a little bit. See if we can get it. Bag it up. Get it onto the ramp. Okay, got the mercy brake on. Y'all see the tilt? Let me turn the camera over a little. Well, I'm actually bringing the camera a little closer so y'all can see the tilt. What I the mistake I did, uh, well, it didn't really matter, but I, I had the ramps, the ramps on the trailer back there. I had them out first. I should have waited and tilted it, then put the ramps out because I heard all that was screeching sound. It was basically dragging the ramps a little bit or forcing them. But y'all see uh, she's on there, right? Go to the other side and see how that looked. But look how, look how much this motherfucker tilted, man. Look at that invert. It's crazy, ain't it? And she gonna roll straight off, and I know how she gonna roll. I'm gonna show you. Look how low, look how low she is to the ground too. That's cool, man. I love that. That's game, bro. So let me just make sure my ramps are straight. Let me line them up. Okay. And uh, but look at that, look at that invert, man. That's crazy, ain't it? This is, okay, so you see both wheels are back up on there. Perfect. But look at this. This is how I know this, it got tight on me. This was real slacky a, min, a minute ago. So now it's tight. That, that lets you know 
she ready to roll, Jack. So now all I do is go ahead and uh, feed it out. I got the winch, like I said, already hooked up. Let me get this over on this side. We don't want stuff crossing over. We don't want wires and cables crossing over. It's a little too close to that. Separate all that a little bit. Okay, so it says she ready to go down. Oops, let me cut it on. Yeah, so there she go. I feel like I'm on, I feel like a, a, tow, truck, a tow truck guy now. <laughs> you feel me? Feeling like I got a rollback or something, you know what I'm saying? Man, my winch is slow too. It don't make no sense how slow my winch is. That's another thing. Uh, try to get you a winch as fast, reliable. Sorry, let me adjust my mic. There you go. Try to get you a winch as fast and reliable and one that uh that's wireless, man. Let's see. Had it hooked up right there. It's going on down. Let's see how make sure it's on that. It'll be alright. Say it's that wheel over there is not completely centered on that ramp going down, but it's okay. It's, it's so low, it ain't going to hurt nothing. I'll just let her all the way on down. Matter of fact, I got this little lever here. I can go ahead and let it shoot on out. My, wheel, my ramp's messed up. I, I'll fix it before it comes off. Shit. To be honest, I can really let it roll off. It's so goddamn low. We're gonna fix that because uh we don't play that. Okay. That back wheel. <laughs> damn. She ain't rolled all the way off. Could turn the wheel and straighten it up, but uh, since it's straight, I'll just let it roll off. Because the client, he's going to come and get it. He'll come and get it um, a little later on the day, so there's plenty of space between that car, so we ain't worried about it. We'll just let it go ahead and roll off. Could turn the wheel a little bit, though. Just a little bit. <laughs> She rolls, she'll kind of, yeah, that's that's cool right there. Yeah, man. So this is this is the game right here. This is the game changer, right? Chill. Yeah. I always learn something. And then I also saw him uh, use these same these same ramps to do a, to change a tire out on the trailer. So you do the same thing. You roll your you roll half you roll one side on, you know, like your front wheel. You roll that on to the to the ramp. It'll lift up your trailer and you can get yourself like a, you know, change your tire or whatever it is you want to change. That was a game changer, too, because, you know, usually I'll get the jack and jack it up and all that. That takes forever. You know, sometimes it can take forever. Man, it's like you only have seconds out here. You know what I'm saying? You literally only have seconds out here most of the time. So you be having to get things cracking quick. You don't have time to really wait around stuff ah man this damn thing it'll be all right I'm trying to get the tire i mean trying to get it to let's see you know what i'm saying cut it over that way i mean it's close it'll roll off but you know it's still close <laughs> how everybody doing today Give me a thumbs up if you're feeling this information, man. If you, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you if you feel like this is helping, give me a thumbs up real quick and let me know I'm on track. I'm on point. Okay, that's it. Let me, uh, pull that little slack out. She's pretty much down, down. Now, we're going to just go ahead and push it on out. 
Push her on down. She's down. Yep, there she go. Let this last little bit of slack out. So we have to go ahead and hook this. That's why I tell you, man, that's why you want the wireless winch, man. I got to give me one. I'm going to keep saying it. Go. Down on that motherfucker. All right. All right. So I'm grab that little slack. Go ahead and hook it. She good to go. Got the little snap hook. So that's, that's pretty much it with that. I could take some pictures real quick, you know what I'm saying, and um, send it to the client so I can get paid. Like I said, man, 10 toes, 10 toes towing, man. Put us on to this little game. Well, that was some game, too. Knock that out with the. Just using, uh, like you say, just basic tools. Uh, your wraps, the monster wraps. Um, that's it, man. So I just wanted to do a quick live, show you guys what's going on. I'm about to get ready and uh, say inspect this car and uh, take some pictures, send it to the customer so he can pay me. This is a COD right here, cash on delivery. So we'll get paid as soon as we send them pictures. But that's cool though, huh? Like I said, if you're feeling that, give me a thumbs up, man. Just let me know, you know, feeling that little idea. Say, so, you know, you just boom, 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 got your little invert. That's cool. And this works on heels too. This literally works on heels. Like I said, I seen him. What tripped me out is the video that I saw was him actually unloading the car on a hill. It was literally up, he kind of, it wasn't like up a hill, but it was a more inverted hill. And man, when he when he did this, that motherfucker, it rolled right off. And I was like, oh, you got me. It can, if you can do it on a hill, you can do it anywhere, especially a flat surface. You know what I mean? You would kill the game. So that saves time. I'd rather pull out two. I'd rather pull those two wraps out, bag up, bag up on it, get my load off, versus trying to, you know, do all this other stuff. Only thing is, if I, oh, I gotta push this car forward a little bit because if I bag up, I mean, if I, um, if I let this thing go, if I level out, it's gonna be too close to this. I mean, it's too tight under here. It's gonna ram that so i'm gonna have to um it was perfect man it bagged up on me this bitch bagged up on me it was perfect for where it was man so that's the, man that's might be a little dilemma i'm gonna have to try to push this thing forward a little bit i'm gonna have to push it forward just a little bit just to get her off my butt off my ass Suppose, uh, 
I didn't notice that, right? And I let, I let my, I drive down these ramps. And once I, I'm gonna drive off and see how much, how, how the tilt look. Y'all tell me how that look when I drive off it. Let's see it go back level, how much it did. But yeah, if I would've drove off that, my back would've smacked the bottom of that car and would've damaged his, his tailpipe and stuff. Let's get this off of here. with these so next time you're online man find you some little simple wraps you know something that can hold enough weight just make sure the weight capacity i got these on at walmart for like i think 40 bucks but get you some monster wraps you might need them anyway to change your dirty your dirty nasty little oil anyway y'all hold it down until the next video y'all be safe keep it trucking catch you in the next video peace